I think that people who think that hospitality is just for restaurants are completely missing the boat. I think hospitality is probably the single most powerful business strategy that doesn't get taught nearly enough in business school. What we've learned in our business is to understand that service and hospitality are completely different topics. Hospitality is a dialogue. If you feel like I'm on your side, hospitality is present. If you think I did something for you, hospitality is present. If you think I'm customizing an experience for you, hospitality is present. We believe that the way you make people feel is what they remember more than anything. If you're going to provide the most powerful, sustainably lasting hospitality experience, believe it or not, we've learned you have to put your customer second. And that's not something I was ever taught growing up. I was always taught the customer is always first, the customer is always right. What we've learned is the best way to make the most customers happy is to make sure that the people who come to work in your organization are having a great experience coming to work. I think customers are expert at reading. Is your staff focused on their work and are they having fun with each other? And if those two things are present, I can almost guarantee you a great customer experience. What we've been able to do in terms of hiring employees is to hire people 49% for their technical skills. You can be the best cook in the world or the best sommelier in the world. And we don't want you on this team unless you have the 51% emotional skills that lead to somebody who's got what we call a high hospitality quotient, a high HQ. And the 51% skills generally add up to somebody whose greatest pleasure in the world, having nothing to do with how good they are at their job, but whose natural wiring says it matters to me to make people feel better. And we've been able to identify what those six emotional skills are that are always present in somebody who's a 51%er. Kindness, optimism, work ethic, curious intelligence, empathy, self-awareness, and integrity. We have an expression around here which is always be collecting dots so you can always be connecting dots. There's absolutely no excuse not to know who you're talking to and not to know what's important to that person. And in order to do that, I've got to be collecting dots. We have search engines, we have databases, we have all kinds of opportunities to know who's here, who are they dining with? When did they last eat here? What did they order? What were we talking about? And we keep notes on all of that stuff. And then we put those connections to use for people that make them feel that this is a customized experience just for them. Gramercy Tavern is 21 years old and remains New York's number one favorite restaurant in the Zagat survey. And we're really proud of that. I think that when someone says that you are their favorite version of anything, they're paying you the absolute highest compliment they can pay you. No one said Gramercy Tavern is the best restaurant. No one said Lexus is the best car. We'd like to think we are, and you'd like to think you are. But if somebody says, this is my favorite, that's inarguable. Nobody can say, no, it's not your favorite. And if I say Lexus is my favorite car, it wouldn't be my favorite if it also didn't provide an emotional connection that made me feel awesome. We have competitors out there who actually have higher food scores than we have. And we have a higher favorite rating. We have competitors who have even a higher service score. You know, their waiters wear tuxedos and they do a beautiful job of saucing the fish next to your table, etc. And we have a higher favorite score. So this is not an excuse not to constantly work on our performance. But I think the sum of our performance plus the hospitality experience leads people to say, there's just nowhere I'd rather do business. We're in a day and age with the internet where every good new idea we have, if it's truly a good idea, gets copied. And the shelf life of innovation is, you know, it's probably about five seconds today. Nobody can take out their smartphone and take a picture of an act of hospitality. They can't take a picture of how you made my heart feel. And so, yes, we're going to keep innovating. Yes, we're going to keep performing at our maximum capacity. But we're going to go to town on the stuff that you cannot copy from us. I tell our team here all the time, you think you're in the restaurant business? Forget about it. 
This is just a box. It's a hospitality box. That's the advice I would give any business is put it out of your mind that you're selling a car. You're selling happiness and you're selling emotional comfort. And if you can understand who I am and what my sign says when I walk in, where else am I going to go?